Let's try to create the equilateral triangle. We'll go to polyline again. We can select multiple points. I'll just uh, start at the top here and then come down to, I don't know, about here. Come over to about here. Come up to here. Oh, let's see if I can go to dimension and select this line. Notice it's kind of jumping. Try and get right on the line and then click on the line. And that tells me that that's two and a half inches. When you see that dimension come up, click on it and then move it out and click a position. And then I click on this one down here. That is a triangle with three different uh, or or two equal sides, which means I've just created an isosceles. So I'm going to also show you, I'm going to go to annotate. Um, dimension is here as well. And I'm going to select this line. And I'm going to zoom up on it, see if I can get this line. Sorry, I got to tell it I want to do an angle. Uh, Katia just automatically does it. So I forgot here, but I want to do an angle dimension. So I got to switch to angles. Select on this line and anywhere on this line. See, it tells me that's 53 degrees. Again, I'll select angle on this line, somewhere on this line, and that's 53 degrees. Select this line, oops, select angle, somewhere on this line, and then somewhere on this line, wait until it's highlighted. Uh, did I miss angle? Try that again. Select on that line. Select on this. Uh, so select second line. So let's grab the second line. Um, I'm going to turn this grid off so it's not snapping so much. I'll try and get on that line now. Okay. So a true equilateral triangle will have all the angles the same. All I have to do here. Just double click this dimension and change it to two and a half. Whoa. How did that happen? What is going on? Let me, okay. That's weird. I should be able to just type in two and a half and hit enter. And why is it not changing that dimension? Oh, uh, Katia doesn't do it that way. I mean, AutoCAD doesn't do it that way. Okay. Uh, this is going to be my demo on the isosceles, or uh, yeah, isosceles triangle, where I've got two equal sides. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go to text. And then name this oh, it's got to be all caps. Enter where A equals B. And you can see, if I click here, we can go middle justified, click off of it. Uh, scroll down away from it a little bit and see if I can't grab this blue dot and move that a little bit. 
Um, to move it, you got to grab right on the dots and then click its location. Okay, so that's the isosceles triangle.